It's certainly easier to maintain, but is a fake Christmas tree better than a real one? Let's verify. About 80% of American households will display a Christmas tree this year, and of those, about 80% are artificial. That's understandable. There's no cleanup. You avoid the hassle of buying and disposing of a tree every winter. Plus, it saves you money. The average natural Christmas tree costs about 80 bucks. Fake ones are about 100 bucks. So by your second year using it, you're saving cash. But there's a big myth about the impact on the environment. People think, oh, Christmas trees, they're just destroying the woods, destroying the forest. Dr. Sally Brown, a nationally renowned soil specialist at the University of Washington, says that's not true because almost all Christmas trees are grown on farms that wouldn't exist without the holiday. So you're getting good land use from growing these trees, good benefits to the soil from growing these trees. It's also a tiny piece of the environmental pie. One major study by PE International found that real or fake, Christmas trees account for less than 0.1% of the average person's annual carbon footprint, and a much bigger factor is driving to and from the farms. Dr. Brown concurs. If you get an artificial tree, you're not destroying the environment. Um, you're not helping it either. Um, I would say the scale is a little bit in favor of a real tree. Whether it's an actual tree or PVC, as long as you dispose of it properly, there's no big winner or loser for Christmas trees. With your Verify, I'm Steve Bunin. Happy holidays.